Well, hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jaktiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. And in today's unboxing video, we've got four mini amps. But before we get to unboxing them, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. So today in the house, we've got four more mini amps. More? Well, yeah, I did do an unboxing uh, of the Marshall MS4. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. It was a uh, uh, a surprising episode with uh, a lot of bug factors. Go check it out. You'll understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so I've ordered four more. All right, that's a total of five. And we have two more and then Shantanu is bringing here. So we'll have a total of eight mini amps for the shootout. Hopefully, maybe, maybe one more. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, uh, let's get unboxing. Um, first up, we've got the Prestige Popular Stainless Steel Pressure Cooker. Mini amp, it's portable, it's mini, it cooks rice. No, it's not, it's just, it's just a general box, okay? Let's see what's inside. This one is not new. This one is secondhand and was sent in uh, by someone in Bangalore. All right, so as you can see, it's a black star cab. Well, one cab and one combo. So it's the Black Star Fly, one watt mini amp. Add another watt and you've now got two watts. And now, how is it on a mini amp shooter? Well, it's portable, one of these. I mean, this is a double stack. So that's gonna be an interesting one. Um, that's the uh, charger. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Let's keep that box aside. So that's box number one, the Black Star Fly. All right, let's get to the next box. This one's from Amazon. This has been ordered new, okay? Um, some of these amps are actually going to be uh, given away after the um, uh, review. I think this is one of those, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what's inside. It's packed. It's packed up, man. All right, it's a, it's a white box. It's like the white album from the Beatles. Cool jazz, sim sim. Cool jazz. Ayo. Okay, there we go. What is it? It's a Cadence. Cadence mini amp. It's kind of nice and interesting. Hmm. Drive channel, normal channel. Ooh, it's got gain and drive. So which one's the volume then, my friends? Which one's the volume? Oh, it's got Bluetooth. Is it BT05? Is there a Bluetooth option? I um, don't think so. Does it have a Bluetooth option? Is there a manual for it? Yes, there's a manual for it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It says here, the drive Overdrive adjustment, the channel clean and overdrive switch, overdrive, overdrive indicator, which is volume then, come on, you can't have overdrive adjustment and overdrive indicator, weird, okay, input, guitar signal, input, power, input, technical parameters, built-in battery, lithium, ooh, nice, nice, um, there's no Bluetooth, I think this one is about, I think this one's about uh, 2,999 rupees, if I'm not mistaken. Looks beautiful, huh? very nicely, nicely made. Nicely done, guys, nicely done. That's a cute amp, okay? Does it sound as good? We'll find out, okay? We'll just put all the stuff in. Don't want to lose it, because this is going to go to somebody else. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, so that's box number two, the Cadence. All right. We're getting off to a good start. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna keep this also over there, just to be on the safe side. All right, the next Amazon box. It's a Fender Mini 65 Twin Amplifier. Blonde. I did do uh, the unboxing of one from Bajao, remember? That whole debacle where uh, one of the speakers was loose and, you know, it had, uh, I think the soldering on one of the speakers had also come out. 
Yeah, that was not good from Bajau, okay? Not functioning, even though they say it was functioning. And then I did get my money back after a lot of uh, back and forth with them. So, yeah, I mean, that wasn't fun. Is this moving around? Unfortunately, this one's moving around as well, is it? No, it's not, okay. Is there a speaker inside? There's a speaker inside, ooh, that should be fun. Okay, that's moving. So I'm gonna have to open this up and see also what's happening inside. That's not fun. Um, hopefully it's not like the Bajau one where it was uh, broken. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, next. We've got this parcel. This one's from uh, Ace Music, okay. Um, it's a Chota Bhai to its big brother, which we've already unboxed, the MS4. So can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? It's in the same family. It's a relative. Let's see if I can get this open somehow. There we go. Ooh, there's my bill. There's my bill. Think of much. Think of much. Okay, Microamp MS2C. What does the C stand for? Classic. Ooh, look at that. Looky, looky. Nice looking app, man. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. I like it. I like it. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Mm. Looks good. Looks really, really good. Does it come with a battery? No. So this one comes with no battery. Um, this one does come with a battery, but I'm going to have to open it up and see if uh, everything is okay inside. This one comes with no battery. Well, I mean, I'm sure there were batteries now. There are no batteries and I have to get six pencil sized batteries to run it. So I'm going to go get my guitar, get some batteries and uh, yeah, let's check these amps out. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I did open up this. Uh, uh, to a mini twin amp and now you can see there's no sound and I'm shaking it. That was really surprising that in a brand new piece from Amazon, uh, both the speakers were not in their fixed slots for some reason. That's really shoddy uh, workmanship from Fender. I also found this extra bit of glue which had fallen out. I think it was putting the circuit board on top. Uh, that had also come out and that is also not cool. Um, instead of getting the batteries, I just thought I'll do an initial uh, you know, review of the sounds with uh, them plugged in. This one, I don't know why, but it's weird. It's like, can't get it to play. Very strange amp. In trying to figure it out. Noop, 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 noop. I really don't know how, there's no on off button on this. That's kind of weird. It's just like, okay, I plug in and it doesn't work. And I'm charging and it said red, so I'm presuming that means that there's no battery inside, which could be the case. So I'm just gonna let it charge for a bit. Okay, so let's check out the Marshall. Um, I've put a nine volt, uh, power supply into this. Okay, it does have a headphones out. It does have a battery slot. It didn't come with a, with a nine volt battery, unlike the Fender, that was not good. So that loses marks in terms of the accessories level. Okay, let's see, tone, this is the volume. All right, this is the overdrive, is it? Let's just put it on and see how that sounds. Okay, you're getting the audio from my lapel mic, of course. Let's crank the, is that the volume? Yeah, that's the volume. Let's crank the volume a little bit. Let's see how that sounds. I think that's the sweet one. Let's try the overdrive channel.
Yeah, that's very fizzy. Not a great sound, okay? So just gonna keep that there. But it looks awesome. Yeah, let me see, let me see how this one is. This one also has a headphones out. This one has a gain, uh, power on and off, volume. Let's get the volume to five. Let's get the tone to five and then let's plug in. And let's put it on, have to be plugged in. There we go. Is that the game? That's pretty loud. a quack with that. Let's put the gain up to five. I think it was on three. I like that. I like that. Full gain. Okay, that's more usable than the Marshall. It's not great, but it's definitely more usable than the Marshall. Impressed, impressed. Not bad, not bad, not bad. After the initial hiccup of the uh, glue bit and uh, the speakers not being in place, not bad, not bad, not bad. Are we still on red and will you will you be cooperating with me, my friend? No, no, still no? No, no, don't want to do anything. Hmm. Well, I'm going to continue to charge this for a little bit longer, even if it doesn't uh, play in this particular first impressions episode. I will figure it out before we do the mini amp comparison. So that's a bit of a weird uh, situation. I guess maybe it's in the manual, which is not there that you have to charge it for a really... Oh, there was a manual. I mean, there was like a technical specification sheet, but maybe they could have had a, you know, a quick uh, go-to kind of a, you know, note in there. And hey, if you want to play, this is what you're going to do, blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, let's get this one on. Oh, they've got delay. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I've plugged in both, so let's see if both oh, volume and gain, okay? You've got an overdrive channel. Nice. It's coming from both levels. That's full volume. Uh, without the added extension. It's still better than the Fender, even with one. But this is amazing, man. This sounds great. Can't wait to see what the gain is like. Full gain. Very bitey, very bitey, very bitey. I think the gain at 50% is really good. EQ. So this is a weird EQ. This is like at zero it's that's so weird. At zero it's like more trebly and at at ten it's like more 
bassy, so let's just leave it in the middle. Definitely the uh, the uh, we there is that sound. Yeah, that sixty cycle hum. Let's do that. It's got a line in and an emulated out as well. That is interesting, 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 interesting. So this has a line in, this has no line in, this has no line in, this has no line in, but this one and this one have uh, headphones out. This one doesn't. Are you planning on coming on at some stage in your life or no, no? Let me see if this works now. That's so whacked. Yeah, is there a switch or something? I wish it comes on. Nope. So right now for me, I am going to have to do my homework on this Cadence amp and figure out what's going on with it, okay? Once I have figured out how it works, I'm going to, uh, yeah, do the review. That's kind of weird. So the Cadence one is not functioning out of the box. You have to probably charge it for a bit which I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it for charging for at least three to four hours and see what happens with that. The Black Star sounds amazing with the, you know, the dual, uh, you know, cabs. I think it's amazing. Uh, the, whatever, the added cab, maybe you can you know, put it there. Have a Marshall-esque style stack. This one's too pinguish for me right now. And this one does have potential. So. Yeah, looking forward to featuring all of these in the mini amp shootout, okay. Um, I will be unboxing a few more amps now for that shootout, okay. Just so make sure that you, you know, you subscribe to this channel. If you haven't, make sure you do it right now, okay. And I will, I guess, have to feature this one in the mini amp shootout after figuring out what's wrong with it and why it's not working. Okay, so future me here. Uh, this is the next day. I charge this for around about... I think now it's been four hours and I'm plugging this in. It was a bit of a pain because, uh, you know, the regular phone chargers don't work. I needed one of those uh, super phone chargers like, you know, for the uh, S22 and that worked. It says here it requires a, a five volt 1A uh, charging power supply, but actually you're better off with a two or a three, to be honest with you, uh, in terms of MA, but yeah, five volts. And... Um, that's supposedly clean. Is this volume? That's game. I think that's non-functional right now. Yeah, that's non-functional. I think they're two independent volume settings. This is for the overdrive channel and this is for your normal channel. That'll be a lot louder. So yeah, so there isn't much headroom for this, which is not cool. Now let's try it with this at half. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, it was a bit of a pain to get the charging thing done. And also I called Cadence, I called the um, one of the main guys in Cadence, Sagar. And you know, he was like, uh, uh, call this other number. I mean, really unhelpful. And then when I called that number, apparently they were only available from nine o'clock till six o'clock. And uh, yeah, it's kind of strange with Cadence. I think they're overconfident on their ability 
to sell their products and on the their quality. Um, but still saying that this is a nice amp. Okay, uh, at three thousand bucks, um, you have quite a bit of portability and it looks amazing. And it sounds pretty good. Sounds better than I would say even the Marshall. But that's for another day for me to decide. That will be when we do the um, you know the mini amp review. Hopefully, I can get Chantanu in on that video. Whenever that is. Uh, so yeah, so make sure you've clicked that subscribe button and uh, stay alert for when that video comes out. And yeah, it's turned out to be pretty good. Um, but yeah, the instructions are pretty bad. So you should actually state on the instruction booklet that, hey, charge it for at least uh, four to uh, six hours, you know, before it's first use. So yeah, that's it. That's a wrap.